Yo, what is up, guys? Yes, we pretty much continuing right where we left off from the last video. <laughs> um, we back for more Dokkan content, ninth anniversary content. So I wanted to make a video separate about talking about the banners, uh, for Dokkan Fest, uh, LR Full Power Super Saiyan Broly, and uh, Carnival LR Blue Gogeta. Now, these banners. Okay, Broly's looks really good. We're gonna talk about Gogeta's banner first. Gogeta's banner. <laughs> Again, we have to see the entire banner. This is just like the main, I guess, like the main headliners of the banner. And and then you know you have like three more featured LRs. Um, so hopefully they're good. Hopefully, um, what you call it? Uh. Yeah, hopefully they're good. But um, as far as just what's on the banner cover, I'm not. I I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know who else they could put there. Um. So I mean, well, first off, let's talk about Gogeta himself. Gogeta, bare minimum, is top four in the game. I do think he's above the GT duo. Um, bare minimum, he's top four. At his best, he's number one. Uh, but bare minimum, I would say he's top four. Uh, Broly, I would say, is number one. Broly, I would just say. Broly is stupidly strong. Uh, Gogeta's really great, too, though. His animations are wild. Um, so, I mean, that is a W. I'm glad they got them well. So, let's just look at the, the units that are on, like, the banner face. So, starting off with LR Carnival Trunks. He's good. He's... Well, I guess when these two release, he won't be top 10 LR in the game anymore. But right now, he is. I have him at number 10. Uh, Trunks, is, Trunks is good, right? Uh, he stacks. Um, he could do okay damage. The problem is, well, number one, my issue, another one of my issues. He reduces damage received by 10% within the same turn with each super attack performed up to 30. I don't like that because it resets every turn. It's not fun it's annoying actually uh yeah I, I i just hate i've hated that mechanic since freaking lr evolution blue vegeta from the sixth anniversary had it like i've never liked this mechanic um and notice it says super attacks not just attack super attack so the thing with trunks is they get to intro and he launches an additional attack that has a a great chance 70 percent chance to be a super and then he can, um, what you call it? he has an additional here as a 50% chance of being a super as a second or third attacker. You win random slot win anyway, so that's fine. And then additional has a high chance of being a super starting from the fifth turn. So right away, you have three, uh, well, no, you have four chances to super. You could super, and then you could additional for 70%. And then you could additional here if you're the second or third attacker. And then hidden potential. The problem with this is at best RNG in the world, he'll have four supers and he'll look like he'll look really strong. Uh normal RNG for people, he'll super once and then normal three times, and then he'll get pummeled into the dirt. Um so I guess what I'm trying to say is this guy's a bit too inconsistent for my taste. He's good definitely good but um he could definitely sell you like don't think he's just absolved from selling like he's one of the main sell artists definitely but he has a very strong standby uh fifth turn from his first appearance uh, it's okay at least there's no hp conditions tied to it yeah his standby is pretty strong the final hope slash does hit pretty hard he defends very well in here so like this does have to be taken into account he is strong just he can sell pretty easily but i mean i'll call him a w i would call him a w right uh metal cooler on the other hand is an absolute fat l i don't know why he's here um i'm sorry bro like it's not 2022 anymore when he first released yeah sure he was pretty good but like come on bro he's not it's not 2022 anymore we're at the point like uh, bro he has no defense this week this guy yeah he has the revive um, when he himself gets KO'd. I've been sold by that too. He took so much damage but didn't die. And then the next person in a rotation died. And I lost. But, um, I mean, yeah, that's cool. 
But then he comes back with no extra defensive buffs, attack buffs, scouter, nothing. He comes back, what's stopping him from getting murked again? What's stopping him? Right? I... Like, he has a lot of healing, yes, the healing is good, um, but... I, I just, like... Does healing really matter if you just get one shot with this guy? Does the healing really matter? And it's like, yeah, you can get one shot into revive. Cool. What ha what's stopping him from getting one shot again right after that? What's stopping him? He doesn't get guard. He doesn't get damage or 50% damage. If he were to revive and then get guard and 40% damage reduction, I'd be like, okay. Now I see a point. Now I see a point. There is a reason for him now. But as it stands, it's like, nah, this guy's a L. He shouldn't be here. Hey, like, come on. Next, we have Beyond the Shining Clouds and LR Kid Gohan. He's very underrated. I think he's very solid. I think he's still really solid. Um, can be a little, you know, iffy at times, definitely. Um, he, he has the unit super attacks, which you have to get uh, to start doing like really crazy stuff. Um, he has his active skill. Uh, it's pretty good. The active skill is, isn't bad. Um, well, it can be activated when HP is 58% or below. Or starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle when there is a... Okay. Yeah, the condition's not that bad. Um, yeah, I mean, he's an okay character. Again, like, he can sell. He has an odd design a bit. His design is a bit, you know, wonky. But, like, I would never call him a bad character. So, I mean, I guess that's three W's on the banner. Um... Gogeta's 100% a W. Trunks, I would still say, if you don't have him, is a W. Like, Trunks is not a bad unit at all. Same in Gohan, he's not a bad unit at all. He's good. Um, Broly, Chile, and Lemma. Broly, Chile, and Lemma. Now, they're interesting. I... Like, they do suck. But... If you can get them seven key spheres, they guarantee die. And being on movie bosses and super bosses. Well, wait, Broly doesn't change. Um, so rainbow key spheres, does it? What rainbow orb changes do we have on super bosses? Okay, we have. Oh, Broly's not in the data yet. Um. Do any of these guys change the rainbow orbs? Ooh. Ooh. Does Ribrian change the rainbow orbs? Um, no, she changes the type. I mean, it can be solid because they don't exactly need rainbow orbs. They just need seven key spheres. But as we all know, rainbow orbs makes everything a lot easier. Huh, okay, maybe not super bosses. Hold on. Let's try movie bosses. Who's on movie bosses that's a rainbow orb changer? Uh, Rudagon? Is he? I don't think so. Um, no. No, he's not. Dang. I don't know who's a, who's a rainbow orb changer. Alright, well, whatever. Um, there are more rainbow orb changers in the game, so, like, this will be easier to get. It be I swear this unit would have been fixed if they just created rainbow orbs. Um, so I mean, nah, I still have to consider them an L. Because it's like, you're literally only running them if you know you can consistently get seven keys here. If you can't get seven keys, it's got this, they're a liability. I don't care how much defense they raise on their super attack effect, they're a liability. Hold the heck up. Wait, they get big bad bosses, but Broly, but regular Broly doesn't? What are you talking about? Chill is the boss? Oh, no, nah, get out of here. Anyway, <laughs> I just noticed that. Yo, that is crazy. Um, so Gogeta's banner. I mean, it's not the worst. There's good here, but then there's also mid and bad here. Uh, eh. we got to see the rest of the banner for him. We do have to see the rest of the banner. Now, Broly's banner. Broly, right? Um... Broly, I do say, is the best unit in the game. Uh, he has He's not in the data yet, but I do believe Broly is the best unit in the game. Um, What you call it? Uh, I, I don't even know if that could really be debated. Like, he's, he's insane. 
the gods is on his banner the z duos on his banner i can get rid of all of you guys who else uh zamasu and then golden freeze so we don't have details for golden freeze yet uh they didn't tweet out details so I, I guess we're gonna have to wait until the data download for this guy um to see his details so i i hope i'm praying to god he's good and then um zamasu um so i mean that's you and again this is just the face of the banner right this is just the face units of the banner uh they're all good right the the tech gods like they've obviously aged like they are a 2022 unit would i call them bad though in no way shape or form would i actually call them bad they are like they're they're crazy they are crazy um yeah, in no way, shape, or form would I ever call them that. Uh, and, and they still, like, this blue form, like, can still put in some work. Definitely can. Um, yeah. They, they, they're, they're definitely not bad. They're definitely, they definitely still got some stuff. Definitely. Uh, the Z Duo, again, I have them as a top 10 LR in the game. I have them at number 9. When Gogeta and Broly come out, obviously, they will be kicked off the list 100%. But... This guy, th this unit gets so much hate. Yes, they, they have flaws. They can get caught easily. Yes. But if you just make it to this guy, bro, you're good. Like, come on. I feel like people don't factor in this Vegeta and then the Spirit Bomb. Like, I feel like we're just not factoring that in at all. They're crazy. And, like, it's not like this guy stacks up slow either. Like, yes, they can get caught super easy. 100%. But are they a bad unit? far 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 from it they are in my opinion they're so incredibly good right they're still incredibly good impeccable and like they have a killing shot which is their spirit bomb um zamasu he's not top five lr in the game no no way shape or form but he is very good he is easily top 10 easily um you can argue him top 10 in the game too you really could um yeah the zamasu Tons of damage reduction um, for his first turn. 80% damage reduction for his first turn. Like, yeah, this guy, this guy is crazy. And then, I don't like his condition to get Infinite Zamasu out. It's the same as Vegito's, really bad. But if you can get it out, Infinite Zamasu, like, he's literally invincible. Like, he just does not take damage. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> like, this guy li literally does not take damage. He nullifies everything. You, you see, like, everything ridiculous um yeah zamasu is like incredibly strong his domain isn't well his domain is gonna get a lot more use now that the blue zone is here um the hero version of the red zone now that that's here his domain will get a lot more use um but yeah zamasu incredibly strong i would say he's probably like number seven on my lr list but yeah uh Broly's banner just from the face of it looks incredibly strong incredibly strong so there are the um Initial look at the Broly and Gogeta banners for the ninth anniversary. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of these banners. Me personally, Broly's looks really good. Gogeta, it looks okay. It looks okay-ish. You gotta remember though, Carnival banner. So like every LR is gonna be on the banner, or a majority of them that aren't Do Contest are gonna be on the banner. Um, so keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Like and subscribe for more Dokkan Battle content such as this. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.